with a local physician to try to get some reminders for you on how to stay safe during this heat wave. Liz, you can feel how extreme the heat is the moment you step outside. That's why people who work out here are encouraged to keep their safety in mind. Working outdoors in Louisiana summers as we know it, it can be hot, but these guys with Trippendall landscape are used to it. It's just like exercise, is, is the more you put your body in, in these situations, the more your body gets used to the, the heat itself. Philip Berry, project manager of the crew, understands what it takes to stay hydrated and keep cool. He says having a big cooler of water and drinks to fight dehydration are essential. It's definitely tough at the beginning of the hot season. Um, we definitely move a little bit slower, trying to adjust to the heat, um, but that's something that we just have to deal with and uh, be flexible with our crews and our guys. Add on taking hourly breaks plus this cooling rag and you've got a safe work day ahead. It's super cold, put it on the hot spots, you know, around your neck. Your wrist. It's very hot even in the mornings. So um, everything you can do outside, like getting in shade. Laparus tells us patients are coming in every day with signs of heat strokes or heat exhaustion. So it's important to know your body. Um, we do blood work on them and find that their kidneys are dry. So um, what the treatment for it is IV fluids. So if you can um, be drinking a lot of water, a lot of uh, you know, non-caffeinated products, uh, you potentially prevent yourself from coming to the emergency department. It's only the end of June, so Barry here is expecting higher temperatures and feels confident that his current routine will keep everyone out of the emergency room. And so if you're in a situation where you're working out in this extreme heat, um, listen to your body. If you need to take a break, take a break. That's what we tell our guys. Again, make sure you're staying hydrated out there, even if you are not thirsty. In Baton Rouge, Miranda Thomas, WAFB 9 News. Back to you. Miranda, thank you.